Ideas flowed from all directions, this in preparation for the opening of the Bronx Council on the Arts' new headquarters called BCA 2700, due to open at the end of the year. We're very excited. It's going to service the entire borough of the Bronx. Inviting business and civic leaders, this meeting marked their first of up to eight focus group meetings to be held around the borough. The purpose of today's meeting was to bring in stakeholders. The Parks Department was here, people from the library, Westchester Square, and talk about how the arts needs to be developed to support development and the people in the Bronx. With over 37,000 visiting the Westchester Square Library on Glebe Avenue, those numbers are increased when you look at school-age children and teens. Patrick Caruso from Community Board 10 says he has 20 schools with an additional 10 after-school programs. We do a lot of outreach and we're very uh, proactive in doing things for the kids in the community. Right. And I, I think uh, having the arts here come here is a, is a great asset. People reach to the arts for mm -hmm. creative solutions, mm -hmm. and a number of them are already doing this. And so is there a way that BCA could actually help them do their work better? Also raise the inevitability of gentrification in the Bronx. How will BCA at 2700 fit into a new landscape? I hope that we can be uh, a support system for the work that's already happening, specifically the cultural work that's already happening, because people have been doing things, so it's not like we're bringing anything to anyone, it's just how do we enhance that, how do we empower that, how do we support that as an organization that has resources that everyday folks may not have. Also at the meeting, President of the Westchester Square Business Improvement District, Lisa Soren, who talked about the importance of preserving the history of this neighborhood, which dates back to the American Revolution, and Executive Director of BronxNet, Michael Max Nobby, whose studio at Mercy College, located in the Hutchinson Metro Tech Center, has expanded the number of residents producing their own stories, with plans to grow even more in the coming year. I did not expect to get the depth of information. Taking it all in was interim executive director of BCA, Barbara Preet. A lot of them are actually looking for expansion and collaborations, which is why we came here. We're looking for a way to better serve the, the broader communities of the Bronx, finding out what is going on and what the need is and how we can facilitate that need as the Bronx Council on the Arts. It's like a reach out. Now it's time to suit the Bronx as it grows, and I think we got that today. Their next meeting will be later this month in the Soundview Castle Hill section. If you'd like to get more information, you can go to bronxarts.org. For BronxNet, this is Arlene McCoker.